Gifts are a major part of the holiday season, but what's been often forgotten is the meaning behind the gift. The spirit of giving. This year, the Reach Foundation is really making a difference in the community by giving back in a unique way. Their new Shop with a Cop program is designed to give back to children in need around the holidays. Here to tell us more our president and co-founder of the Reach Foundation, Mark Wilson, and Lieutenant Don Watson of the Bristol Police Department. Gentlemen, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having us. Uh, Mark, let's start with you and talk a little bit about the mission of the Reach Foundation. Yeah. My wife and I, Wendy, uh, we, we formed the REACH Foundation in 2000, and our goal is to help kids in need, whether it be financial, social, or physical need. And it's really expanded over the years. Well, we started in Texas, okay. and uh, we have since moved, obviously, to Connecticut, and we are, have been kind of centrally located and focused in Connecticut. We're now expanding to cover the state, and we have some programs like Shop with a Cop that we'd like to take on a national level. And this is going to be fun. It gives opportunity. It gives the opportunity for children to get their Christmas shopping done, and they get to walk around and hang out with a police officer, which is kind of cool. Well, it, it is a very cool program, as you <laughs> said. Uh, these are at-risk youth, and it gives them an opportunity to see a police officer in a different light. Mm -hmm. They're not there to solve a crime or to enforce the law. They're there to be a friend. Uh, to, the, to the children and to show them that the police officers are there to be their friends and to help them. Yeah. Now, Lieutenant, why does the Bristol Department decide to get involved with this? Well, the Bristol Police Department is always looking for ways to be involved with the community in a positive way. And the REACH Foundation has offered a wonderful opportunity for our officers to interact with the children. Sure. Now, I know, uh, give us the details how we could take part or when this is all happening, Mark. Well, it's happening next Wednesday, uh, the, or this Wednesday, I mm -hmm. guess, the sure. 18th, and uh, at tar Target in Newington on the Berlin Turnpike. We have approximately 50 children throughout the uh, central Connecticut region. They will join there with police officers. They will be escorted and guided through the stores with the police officer, collecting gifts for their family and checking out the end. And there might be a newscaster or two tossed there in there, There might right? be a few, and a few other maybe local celebrities or others who may show up. Very good. Um, and it's a generous uh, amount of money these kids have to shop with. Where do they get the money from? Well, we're, we collect it through donations and gifts to the REACH Foundation, and this is a new program for us, and the, and the community's been uh, just tremendous uh, with outpouring of donations. So we have raised enough money to provide each child with $100 for shopping, plus another 25 where they'll be able to buy a gift for another child that the police officer is identified as at risk. Sure, that makes sense. And Lieutenant, why is it so important to create a bond at a young age with a, with a child, would you say? Well, it's always important officer. to interact with the youth, our community. They're certainly a part of, of, of the community. Mm -hmm. And they're going to grow into adults, and we don't want them to be afraid of us or, or worried to interact with the police. So it, it's a good... It, it's a good... Uh, Good program, right? Program. A good way to start the uh, the friendship, right? Yes, absolutely. Um, and I understand that there's more than just shopping. There's going to be a little bit of a meet and greet. There's going to be rides in the cars, possibly, right, Mark? <laughs> correct, correct. Yeah, our friends at the Hawthorne Inn have offered to uh, uh, host a pre-party, so the uh, children will be ma matched up with their police officer escort, and we may have a guest from the north appearing uh, to help oh, greet really? the children <laughs> and uh, uh, and other celebrities and sure. guests, as we've said. Well, yeah, I'm going to be helping out with the day. I'm really looking forward to. To it sounds like uh, we're going to get a lot done, and uh, the kids can go shopping. Really great for everyone involved. Let's put and the come away with Christmas. Yeah, You'll come away with Christmas. All right. Of course, uh, all the info will be on wtnh.com. All you have to do is click on Style, and where can we find more on the Reach Foundation? Uh, you can go to our website, www.thereachfoundation.org. Okay. Or obviously go to your website. That's what we'll do. Lieutenant Mark, thank you so much for being here. Thank you. All right. Up next, dietitians from Mid-State Medical Center share tips for healthy eating around the holidays. But first, take a look at this. It's time for the Connecticut-style medical tip of the day from Mid-State Medical Center. While you're out shopping this holiday season, don't forget your hand sanitizer. Studies have shown that there is an alarming number of germs on many mall surfaces, like escalator rails, phones, computer displays, and toys. This medical tip is brought to you by Mid-State Medical Center. Visit midstatemedical.org.